Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I have a great project to show you today that's super easy. It's this adorable little Valentine's card. And what I love about it is that it came from a paper pumpkin kit. And if you're not familiar with paper pumpkin kit, that's our subscription service. Each month you get a new box that comes to your door and there's different projects in each. And I just love the kits. So this month was a really cool thing because you could either make a neat little garland out of it or some treat bags. And one of the things that I like about this is that I um, like to come up with alternative projects and I have partnered with some friends of mine and we each come up with an alternative so that if you don't like what the suggested kit projects are, we have some fantastic options for you. And one of those options I'm going to show you right now. But the kit comes with complete directions and um, it comes with all kinds of wonderful things. So let me show you what else is in this great box. So it comes with... Uh, here there's a package of these clips. There's a whole thing of this gorgeous watermelon sequins. There is some thick baker's twine that is mint macaron. There is an ink spot that's watermelon wonder. There is a whole stamp set. And you can see these are so cute. I love all the different sayings. Even meh, that's so funny. <laughs> anyway, I love all the cute little pieces that come in, in the stamp sets. And then um, here's some more. There's two types of adhesive for this one. There's some adhesive strips and glue dots. So those are great. And then, of course, part of the kit is all these pieces. So mine are kind of in a bit of a mess right now because I've been using some of the parts to the kit but let me pull this out there's a whole bunch of these die cut hearts with little flags and then there is they're two-sided as you can see and then all this extra space which of course we have to use for something so you can punch them out or you can do all kinds of different things you know with with the supplies that you already have at home so I'm going to take out one of these pink hearts because that's what I used for my car oh actually you know what let's go crazy we're going to change it up and I'm going to use one of these lighter gray cards or hearts, pardon me. So I'll pull that one out and I'll set all of this back in here. And by the way, this comes in this adorable little box every day or every month, not every day. That would probably back up on you, wouldn't it? Um, it comes in this cute little box each month. And I love the box because you can turn it inside out and, and decorate it and turn it into something you'd like. Okay. Uh, also, I decorated, or pardon me, I um, wrapped a whole bunch of presents in paper pumpkin boxes for the holidays this year. All right, so let me show you how I put this card together. It's really simple. I'm starting with a half a sheet of Smoky Slate cardstock, and this is not in the kit. This is just um, from my supplies here at home. And I think this is really great, too, because if you are a stamper, you have all kinds of supplies already. Then I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to here adhere um, most of it to the front. But I'm just going to wrap this around the card. You can see like this because I don't need to cut off any of it. I can use the whole thing on my card. And I think that's kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and use my fast fuse. I could use the adhesive that comes in the kit as well, but I'm choosing today to use my fast fuse. And I'm going to really adhere this well, get plenty of adhesive on there, and then I will line this up, like I said, about two-thirds of the way onto my card front, and then we'll wrap the rest around the back. So I'm just going to fold that over tightly, and then we'll adhere this side as well. Okay, and I love this fast fuse because it's so sticky. There's no moving on that. All right, so there we have it. And now to decorate this, you can see in the card, I have a couple things. I have a line of sequins, I have a couple hearts, and I have the love you. So I'm also combining another stamp set that I have called Groovy Love. This is a fun stamp set from Stampin' Up! And what I love about it, it is, is that there's a coordinating heart punch to punch these hearts out. And then this one's just a little bigger, so these fit inside there, which is kind of fun. So let me show you how I did that part. So I'm pulling in a scrap of some watermelon cardstock, and I'm just going to stamp one of those hearts 
with the watermelon ink. So it's the same color ink on the cardstock. And then I am, uh, here's that punch I was mentioning. This is called the Sweetheart Punch. And you can see it lines up just wonderfully. I'll punch that out. And then this will go on my card. And I, oh, look at the pop of that color. I think that's fantastic. Now, first, I'm going to stamp the outline heart that's going to kind of uh, go over it. So for that, I'm going to use the base, or no, this is called Smoky Slate. Of course, I can never think of these words when I'm on the, on the spot with my video. Okay, so there is that one. And then I'm going to take one of those strips of adhesive that was in my kit just have to figure out what I did with them. Oh, it's, I left it out so it'd be handy, figures. Um, so I'm going to take this strip, and I just need one, and peel it off. And then I'm going to place it right on my card like so. And then that will hold my uh, string of sequins on, and I kind of jumbled that a little bit but no problem we can fix it and then for the sequins I'm just gonna place this right on my card like so and what I like to do on here is on the very last one I'm gonna pull that off and if I Oh, I think that's on there pretty good. The other thing you can do is if the last one is loose, you can just glue dot one more right on the end. Okay, so there we have that part is done and it looks great. Now what I wanna do is use the stamps that came in the kit. And what I found, and I think you're gonna like this, I love making things a little bit more versatile. So what I did is I took the Love You cut it in half and that way I could separate it on the top and bottom of my sequence. And you could do the same with Be Mine or whichever. So let me show you how I cut that. And it's okay to cut your photopolymer. It's not gonna be the end of the world. I'm just gonna take a scissors and carefully cut this right in between. I'm just, the only thing you really wanna be careful of is that you don't cut any of the image because that would be bad. And then look at that. Now, some of you might just be gasping at home. It's okay. It'll be all right. But then when you want to use the stamp again together, all you have to do is put them together on the block, and it's just fine. And, and it's really easy, especially with the photopolymer, to line them exactly back up, so apart or together. Now, let me show you. Here are my two words that I have. Let me show you the how that looks with these on here. And I just like um, the option it gives me love at the top and you at the bottom so easy now let's pull this part back up and I'm going to use a dimensional now dimensionals didn't come in this kit but they come in most of the kits this is actually left over from last month and uh, I use dimensionals on everything so I love them they're great and fun and add a nice little pop to your card <laughs> literally so you can see I just pop that right above um, over the top of the sequence. And how adorable is that? Look at these cute cards. I love the colors. They're fun and kind of springy and sweet. I think these would be perfect for kid valentines or for uh, your kids to give out at, for people in the neighborhood or grandkids if you have grandkids, whatever you'd like. But the beauty of this is that you can can change this to work with what you need. So if you don't want the, the treat pouches or the um, banner thing, um, you can change it and make cards. And so uh, one of the things I like to offer my customers is alternate ideas. Usually there's 10 to 12 ideas each month. And if you go to my blog, you can see some more information about this. The other awesome thing is if you get a Paper Pumpkin three-month paid per subscription this month, you will get an, a celebration stamp set. Plus it is on sale for a uh, a discount price of only $55 for three months. If you were to do them individually, it would be $60 a month 
not or for the three months, not 55. So that's an awesome deal. Anyway, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And the uh, information will be on my blog, which is listed in the description below this video. Thank you so much, guys. Have an awesome day.